Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Film Critic. Umqua's signature tire, Bob Quigley, designed the Film Critic to match mayflies at their most vulnerable stage of the hatch while emerging from nymph to dun. Mayfly emergers are often stuck in the film for quite some time, making them easy prey for hungry trout. And it can be tied in sizes 10 through 20. This is a hackle stacker type fly, and it uses an interesting technique to stack the hackle on top of the hook shank, uh, and actually makes it kind of fun to tie. So here's the fly in the vise. So the hook we're gonna to use today is a Kona BC4 in uh, size 14. It's a barbless hook and it's got a wicked point on it. Our thread is uh, some uni thread and it's in uh, olive dun and a dot. We're gonna get the tie started a couple of eye lengths back behind the, the eye, I hope here. Slippery. And wrap back down the hook bend. Our shuck for this fly is just going to be some Antron yarn. This is in uh, kind of a gold color. Just need a small piece. And we'll peel off about a third of that material. Wrap back down quite a ways into the bend. Out there looks good. And we're going to cut this off pretty short, maybe half a hook gap at the most. This is a mayfly emerger, so it's going to have a tail, and we're going to use a Coke De Leon light speckled hackle for that. Just need five or six fibers, pull them out so that they're even, tear them off, and we want these to be maybe a hook shank in length. Certainly no longer than that. Pull it down a little bit, a little more. Yeah, that looks good. Cut off what we don't need. So the body of the fly is just going to be a turkey biot quill in a blue wing olive. They look like this. And I've already selected one single biot and we're going to put in just a drop of zappa gap. And we tie that in really fragile material. A fish gets his tooth in there. It's going to break. We use our rotary function device to tie that in. Our hackle pliers. Find the hook point. There we go. So the post for this fly is going to be made up from some EP fibers in the color white. And we don't need very much of this. So we're going to form a loop with this, maybe about two inches. And we're going to tie that in just above the point of the hook. And this is also going to be a wing stub. So we'll cut that off like that, about the same as we did for the shuck. And we're going to wrap forward towards the eye. We don't want to crowd this at all because the material is going to be folded back over onto the eye at the end. And we want a good eye lengths to work with. And next we're going to tie in Whiting Dry Fly Cape Hackle, a size to the hook, so it's a size 14 and this is Dark Bar Ginger. If you've got brown, uh, that would work very well. Or maybe even Furnace. So we'll prepare our feather like we always do. 
pull some barbules out away from it, the stem, and cut those off, leaving some stubs to help us hold it in place when it's tied in. Like that. Now we're going to wrap our post material back to where the hackle is, right there. And for the body, or for the thorax of the fly, we're going to use some super fine dubbing and the color olive brown, just a small noodle. So all we need is going to form a nice thin noodle here. And take one wrap or two behind. There we are. Now we're going to stick our finger inside that loop. We're going to grab our hackle and we're going to wrap it up the post. Now, we don't want to wrap any higher than where this is going to meet the eye of the hook. So as you wrap, you can check that by pulling it forward. And once you've got it where you want it, you can start winding back down. And you can let go of the loop and you can see it's not going anywhere. Now we're going to tie off that hackle. And you can use that loop to kind of direct what you're doing. You don't want to catch that wing stub that's sticking out of the back. There we go. Now we're going to jump our thread back up to the eye. And we're going to cut off that piece of material. And I like to take just a dab of Zappa Gap, put it on a bodkin, and run that underneath the base of the hackle, like that. That'll ensure it won't come undone. Now we're going to pull it forward, and to do that we're going to stroke all of those hackle fibers back and bring it down on the hook and capture it with our thread like so and between the two we're going to pull it forward like it is and we want that post material to also be a cider for us so we're going to build up a small head that's also a thread dam to stand that up, just like that. Now our whip finish tool, four or five turn whip finish, see it or not, cut our thread. It is really hard on this type of a fly not to catch anything in the eye. There we go. Now we're going to cut our cider just a little bit taller than what the hackle is. Add a drop of head cement. This is Loon's water-based. Clear out the eye and our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Keep up with all the current content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.